You've seen it in Mad Men. You may even remember it if you were around. It wasn't inconsiderate or irresponsible. We just didn't know at the time. You could smoke in restaurants and pubs. You could have a cigarette while watching a film at the cinema or the theatre. Doctors, policemen and the army could smoke while they were working. Getting themselves off to school used to be a child's own responsibility. Parents didn't have time or didn't even think to walk their kids to school. And no parent was regarded as irresponsible for not doing so. When travelling by bus, walking or cycling, children had conversations and adventures that their parents didn't supervise. They shared little secrets that today have become the secrets of their childhood. So although parental discipline tended to be more authoritarian, children generally enjoyed a greater amount of personal freedom during leisure time than they do today. Of course children can still walk to school on their own, but there are grave concerns about their safety that make parents hesitate. Was it really less dangerous 30 or 40 years ago, or are we just more careful today? By the time they turn 35, most people today will have had 10 different jobs. It's normal for fresh college grads to jump around from one low paying company to the next until they have enough experience to apply for a more substantial job. Until the 1980s, people would get hired straight from college. They would get a position or a place in a company. And unless there was some unexpected crisis, they would have a job for life. The idea of driving has always been associated with freedom. The wind blowing your hair. In the past, motorbike riders could choose whether to wear a helmet or not. These days, it's a serious criminal offence, for which you can lose your licence. Interestingly, however, cyclists are not legally bound to wear a helmet. But maybe this will change in the future. This sounds like archaeology nowadays, but there was such a thing as a telegram not so long ago. And it really worked. You could send a telegram from a small village in India to a small village in Bolivia, and it would be delivered in 24 hours. Businesses and the public relied on the telegram system. In July 2013, the last telegram in the world was sent when India's state-owned telecom company shut its telegraph service. Nowadays, text messages, chats and WhatsApp-like applications have substituted this service. But the people in the small villages of Bolivia and India without internet and a computer can no longer communicate. So progress for many, and an inconvenience for many others. It was an aspiration for many women to own and wear a fur coat. It was the ultimate symbol of status and glamour. However, everything changed when the voices of animal rights activists became heard. In the 90s, the leading top models signed a statement to refusing to wear fur, and these objects of glamour became objects of the past. Of course, there are still fur coats around, but in Western countries at least, the acceptance and popularity of fur has all but disappeared. Whaling was very much an industrial activity until 1946, when a number of major whaling nations created the International Whaling Commission and set quotas. In the 70s, Greenpeace and underwater filming changed people's attitudes towards whales, and in 1982, the Commission voted to halt all commercial whaling until stocks had recovered. Although Japan, Norway and Iceland still hunt whales, setting their own quotas, it is fair to say that it's the activity, and not the whales, that are headed towards extinction. OK, we can still do this today if we can find somewhere to do it. But think of all the ballrooms and nights out dancing. Think of all the couples that have been formed as a consequence of a simple dance, of that first three-minute conversation with the couple's arms around each other. Now think about today. Do we dance as much? Do people dance as much? Surely, if there is one thing on this list that we should reclaim from the past, this is it. There are many things that we take for granted, things that we think will always be allowed, accepted, or available to us. But the truth is that many things that you do today, you won't be able to do in the future.